Are you ready? I don't care what anybody thinks. So no matter what, regardless to what, you're not going to make me feel as less of who I am. I know who I am. I was never going to let another person make me feel bad about myself ever again. The last time that happened, I was four years old. As long as you're expressing yourself, as long as you don't care, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Every single day for everybody, there's a lesson. There's a test. And if you don't pass the test, you do not move forward. You stay in the same place. And then that test becomes a little harder. And if you don't pass it again, you actually go backwards. And then instead of the test being in front of you, where you can look at the test, it's in back of you. And it's smacking the shit out of you in the back of your head. And it hurts. And it's embarrassing. My parents could give me advice. But, you know, at 16 or 17, after my mom died, I was getting more money than my dad. You know, so at that point, it's hard to listen to people that are older than you that hasn't that haven't uh, got to the place you want to go. And as a child, you become very arrogant when you can do adult things. But my mother was the one that taught me to never, ever, ever let someone tell you something that you don't believe without saying how you feel about it. You become a combination of the people that influence you the most. That's why you have to be important. I mean, it's important that you're cognizant of what you do when you realize that people are actually influenced by you. Mm. You know what I mean? You never want to do something that you don't want the people you love to do because they're going to do exactly what you do. If you don't stand out, then you're just atmosphere in a crowd. But when you do things different, then people are drawn to you. Your job as a parent is to make sure your children never have to go through the same problems that you went through. It's to break cycles. But first, you kind of have to understand what that cycle is. So... As an adult that had children, I was, you know, I ain't going to, like, shit on my dad. But if I were him, I would have been in my life a little more. A kid doesn't even care about that. That's not currency to a kid. They don't even know about money until you tell them about it. All they care about is your time. You know, at some point, you might think, okay, I'll sacrifice time with my child because I got to make money to support him. But the kid don't care about that. You know, the kid just wants you to be there to support him. A lot of people overreact to problems because they never had any. They don't know what a problem is, and then they make something that's light feel like it's the worst thing in the world. And I'm not going to ever do that because I appreciate when things are good. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like just in any second, some shit could happen that's fucked up. So in between those moments that you can't control, you have to enjoy life to the fullest. Sometimes you have to actually go through some pain early so you understand how to appreciate life moving forward. You know, shit has to be taken from you. Things things that are free, you find are priceless <laughs> when they get taken from you. Like freedom and people you love. You know, and then you're like, what was I complaining about? You know, I was rich. I was wealthy because I had love. And now I don't. And there's no money in the world that could bring it back. You know, once your health is gone, it don't matter. how You will spend any amount of money to get your health back if you're sitting in the bed compromised. Once your freedom is taken... You'll spend any amount of money to get out of jail, all of it, because you can't spend none of it while you're in jail other than on commissary, which is, you know. And then, again, lose a friend, lose someone you love. You'll do, you, if you could do any, you'd spend anything in the world to get that person back. I do appreciate life in the moment because I'd be like, what if this was taken from me? Then I'd be sick, you know. I think a lot of conditioning happens when you see things are wrong and you got to look the other way for survival. And I've just never been that guy. And I don't come from a family or a bloodline of people that have ever been abused, that have ever been bullied. I come from a bloodline of people that bully the bully, that oppress the oppressor. 